They will. And maybe not two cars, but maybe there's a family car that there's a huge market. Uh, if they want to buy a home with a garage or at least a parking spot. You're talking about home buyers. I agree. You're right. Okay. Maybe maybe not vanilla chocolate so much. Swirl. Coffee. <laughs> Swirl. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, in terms of our, we did Halleck Street townhomes downtown. Uh, those are one car garages with one parking stall and those were extremely popular. And that's because you're right downtown and you can walk to everything. And if you have that infrastructure that you already have, that encourages it. But I think we're an active community and we like to be able to get out to Mount Baker. And you, I mean, there's no, WTA doesn't service, you know, regular transit out to the ski area. Um, I think that's a reality that we have to accommodate in the market. And as long as the parking reductions are um, reduced, we don't have to worry about that from a code stance. We have to worry about that from a marketability stance. And I think there's a shift um, as we move forward um, as a progressive community that we know biking and trans uh, transit are going to be uh, better options and uh, more affordable options, then people will be more encouraged to use that and even reduce their driving, but still have that one car and they want to buy a home with that spot or garage. Dan, do you have anything to add?